friends. I'm in the mood to paint a cute little gray bird. I didn't know, I've seen other artists paint it. I'm pretty sure you find them in North America. I probably should Google it. Uh, I had to Google the name, it's called a titmouse. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, I've got a pair of favorite daughter's earrings on. Hey, favorite daughter. She's probably embarrassed right now. She didn't doesn't know I was gonna shout her out. She's got really adorable and some pretty earrings. You should check them out. I'll put the Etsy link in the description. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you the colors I'm gonna use. And I think I'm gonna leave my video arm up higher because you can see, gosh, if I get rid of the second one, you can see all of my palette. And then if I remember to pick it up so you can see, I think that might work pretty well. I have it up higher because I was painting, well, here I'll grab Daisy here. Daisy the Nubian goat. <laughs> it just makes me happy. The daisy and it's a cute goat. Um, I love painting animals, they're a lot of fun. I'm gonna use oh, number 12 Menta Royal Lang Nickel. It's new, it's fun to use a new brush. I really like this brand a lot. Um, I'm gonna, I, I have not had an opportunity to paint a soft yellow background and I think it'll work with this little gray bird. So I have a bunch of Naples yellow out right out of the tube. And I've got a little unbleached titanium. And I put out a little Turner's yellow. It's kind of a muted yellow. Here, I'll show you. Cad yellow medium. I think you can even tell by the label a little bit. This is really bright and pretty, but I think I want it softer because this is a pretty little bird. And I'm just gonna paint one of my usual swirly backgrounds. Forgot to mention, I gotta write love on this canvas too. Where are my watercolor pencils? Ah, here they are. These are from Michaels, this canvas is from Michaels and I bought the paint at Michaels. But just use whatever you have. Michaels is close to me and I really love, um, I just love their store, I love their coupons. That really helps artists out, save a little money. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, okay, be back in a little bit. Okay, a quick look. Um, already both these paintings are going to be different because the backgrounds are different. And I think, I don't know, that yellow, I didn't really, I didn't use any of the Turner's yellow because I could see that the um, Naples yellow looked pr plenty strong on the canvas. I wasn't really liking the unbleached titanium mixed in with it, but I like it now. So I added some uh, titanium white to my palette. I just paint the sides and I stick stick the little flaps down. Okay guys, I gotta run. I've got a, I'm really excited. I've got a commission to do three larger pet portraits in an office space. So they wanna see how the, the canvas sizes are gonna look over the couch they have. I'll be back after a bit. Hey, it's evening. So it's been three or four hours since I painted the background. Um, I decided to, make a traceable, because I assume somebody will want it. Um, nobody really comments on whether they like the traceables, but quite a few people visit um, my website and the traceable pages, so I assume you guys like them. Um, I used a blue chark pastel on the background, or on the back, to turn it into a traceable, and I traced it with a ballpoint pen. I was originally thinking I was gonna start with this broken branch that split. Um, you might be able to see the split better here. And then I thought it would be better to paint the bird first and the, paint it a little bit into the branch and then come back and paint the branch so I don't have any gaps. I'm gonna use raw sienna. Uh, the branch looks like shades of burnt umber in, the, in my reference photo. Here's burnt umber. But there's a peachy or kind of an, well, I don't know if it's peachy. There's a raw sienna color and a little bit of this bird. So I'm gonna mix raw sienna and black to make a brown and then try and work a little bit raw sienna color into the branch. And then I scrape some Naples yellow off of my other palette. Try and maybe put a little yellow in this branch too to tie the background in. And then I have Prussian blue, cause this is a, 
in my printout, it looks kind of blue gray in the bird. So we'll play with that a little bit. And uh, titanium white. Oh, so raw sienna and Prussian blue. Okay, guys. in for a second and show you a closer look that isn't time-lapsed. Um, I still need another coat or two. You can see some of the yellow coming through. Um, sometimes that's fine. I just want it to look a little, I don't know, I want to say better, but it's not necessarily better. Um, the eye needs a highlight. It's starting to come together. For a while there I had it looking angry. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted you to get a closer look. Let's take a look. Um, the branch needs like another coat and I think I might just scrape with some palette knife so I get some irregular oh, textures and things because the branch is really rough in my reference photo. I'll give you a closer look at the eye and I lightened up the top of the beak. My reference photo doesn't have much lighting so I kind of added a little bit more light. Oh, I should probably keep that in mind with the dead tree branch that Titmouse is sitting on. And then I just carried it over to the bottom. This could be done pretty quick. I just was speaking to a favorite daughter on the phone and I showed her my bird painting and she said she loved my blue jay, which was really nice. But uh, I had to look at a blue jay from the front because I'm starting to wonder 
if it does. Of course, I mean, you know, it's not like neither one of us are bird, bird experts. <laughs> uh, well, technically it's a titmouse. So, oh, here, I'll hold it close. I put just a little pattern in the background. I kept working the branches till they looked pretty good. Um, just, you know, layers and textures and lighter and darker because they're broken and they're, gosh, I don't know, they look brittle and stuff in my reference photo. Anyway, let me know what you think of this one. It's cute. I like the yellow background. I haven't done a yellow background before. I really, really appreciate you hanging out with me this whole time. Oh, and people have been sending me money for the traceables or to support the YouTube channel. Well, I'm sure both. I just, I super appreciate it. It helps buy paints and canvases. Um, and gives me hope that I can uh, make a living at this, at, at being an artist. So I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's getting late. It's super hot in my studio. My paints are drying really fast, so I better get going here. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this bird. Great big art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.